what's up with a happy Roblox family. just checking my email and and I got a, I got a message from our teacher oh great you have detention again no 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 this is really exciting um <laughs> we're having pizza for lunch tomorrow no even more exciting than that <gasps> I don't know anything more exciting than pizza when it comes to you Marty we are going on a school field trip going to the water park going to the water park oh buddy that's amazing i can't wait i can't wait wait a minute buddy stop dancing Molly! Sorry, I got a little too excited doing the chicken dance. And I had a taco for lunch. We can't go to the water park, Molly. What? Why not? Because that's going to cost a lot of money, and we don't have that kind of money. But, 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 it's the water park. Maybe it's free. Molly, you know the water park isn't free. And when it comes to school trips, we have to pay to go ourselves. Remember when we went to the Philadelphia Zoo? Oh, I remember it all right. I remember it perfectly. Stay away from me, Psycho Bunny! Stay back! Stay, stay back! Oh, you're so cute and also very creepy! Ah, it's chasing me! Oh, bad memories! Bad memories! <laughs> Only you would get chased by a Psycho Bunny! <laughs> Oh, yeah, so funny. Anyway, this school trip is going to be so much cooler. Yeah, Molly, except for the fact we don't have any money to go. Ow! Oh, you're right. The best day ever just turned into the worst day ever. I feel like I'm going to cry. I need to go call Brookie. She'll listen to me cry. Uh, Molly, maybe she's busy. She's never too busy to talk to her best friend. Not ever. Hey, Brookie, it's me. Can I call you? Hey, Molly, sure. You never want to call me on the phone. You just want to text. Is everything okay? I'm just going to call you. Hi, what's up, Molly? Are you okay? Not really. Did you get the email from our teacher? Yeah, I totally did. A, a school trip to, to the water park? That sounds amazing. <coughs> yeah, except for if you're me and Daisy. We don't have any money to go. No, I don't really either. I only have like $5 saved. Really? That's more than I have. I don't know what to do. Look, Molly, you know I sort of have an entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> and well, I was just thinking of a way that we could earn the money to go to the water park. All three of us. Seriously? You have an idea? Of course I do. I was thinking that we could start a lemonade stand. Hot dog, Brookie! Hot dogs? No, Molly. I don't think a hot dog stand will do as well in Brookhaven. I think lemonade is where it's at. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant like hot dog. That's a good idea. You have all the most brilliant ideas. Well, unless it's about science, then Daisy's got you beat. Or if it's about, well, detention, you're pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, uh, you want to help us build the lemonade stand? Of course I do. According to my calculations, if we charge 25 cents per cup of lemonade, it will probably take us about two days to earn enough for all three of us to go to the water park. Unless we're really lucky because I make the world's best lemonade, and if people know about my lemonade, they're going to come here for sure. There, 
the 25 cent sign is all up. And I nailed it down just so it doesn't blow over. Wow, this looks amazing, guys. I can't believe we built this. The sign looks so professional. You have the best ideas ever. Time to test some of the lemonade. Uh, Molly, I don't think so. Woo, it's really, really tart. We need more sugar. We need more sugar. Oh. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? Try to look professional. I'm even wearing a lemonade stand uniform. I can't even move. That was so sour. Needs more sugar. Man, all of this building our lemonade stand was hard work. I'm starving. Me too, Molly. What do you have to eat in your house? I don't know, but I'm thinking DoorDash. Molly, we're spending our money before it's even made. Hey, you gotta spend some to earn some. And me having an empty stomach doesn't make me very friendly to customers. Okay, Molly, you have a point. What should we order? How about a pizza? Because those aren't very expensive. And there's a lot of slices, so we can get a lot for a little. You're so smart, Molly. Thank you. One large pizza, extra cheese. Anybody want pepperoni? No, no pepperoni. No, no pepperoni, Molly. Just extra cheese. All right, says it'll be here in two minutes. Wow, <gasps> fast delivery. One minute, 37 seconds later. from DoorDash. This is like the hundredth order I've done today. Not a single person has given me a tip. Oh, cool. Um, well, I could give you a tip, except for I don't have any money. I'm sorry. That's why I started this lemonade stand. And again, I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it. Here's your order. Wait. What? Wait, get back here! These... This, this is not pizza! These are sauerkraut sandwiches! Ew, that smells like somebody's Ew. dirty foot. Yeah, and, and 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 I don't like smelling dirty feet sandwiches. Oh well, Molly, just just get a refund and try again. Fine. It's not like I was starving or anything. One large pizza with extra cheese. <sighs> Quit sending me sauerkraut sandwiches. Here she comes again. Uh, hopefully this time she didn't send us anything gross. Well, Molly, I would have eaten a sauerkraut sandwich. It's kind of good for you. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, um, here's your order. Didn't you just order something? Yeah, and you brought us sauerkraut sandwiches. It was the wrong order. No wonder you're not getting any tips. Sorry, I'm doing my best. Here's your order. Have a nice day. Uh-huh, sure. It, this is KFC. Ooh, I love KFC. I know, but we ordered a pizza. My tummy was all hungry for one. Molly, remember in the freezer in the basement, Mom was saving that extra frozen pizza? We could always eat that. Yeah, good idea. Uh. Mm, this frozen pizza is actually pretty good. Yeah, mine's still a little frozen in the middle, but I don't mind. Mm. <laughs> it's like ice pizza. Very interesting. Well, now that we're done eating our pizza, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for our first customer. They should be here any minute. Yep, any minute now. Any minute. Any minute, they're gonna just drive right down our street. Or walk, or ride their bike, or push their baby in a baby carriage. Yeah. And they're gonna just have to pay us 25 cents for our lemonade. Where are all the customers? How are we ever going to go to our water park trip if, 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 if nobody comes? Don't worry, they'll show up, Molly. I'm sure of it. Still not a single customer. Ugh. This is not going to work. We're not going to even get one customer. <laughs> Molly, you have to be patient. Oh, look. A customer's coming. I see them. They're, 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 they're way on their way. Look at that. There's a Bentley coming up. They're going to buy us like a hundred cups of lemonade. We're going to just close and go on our trip. Oh, wait. No, that's Brookie's mom. Hey, girls. Brookie, it's time for you to go home. You have to do extra studying. <gasps> but, but, mom, I, 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 I'm doing my lemonade stand. Come on, Brookie. We had an agreement. You need to work on more schoolwork. Oh, bummer. Well, see you later, Brookie. Bye.
Bye, guys. It was cool hanging out with you. Bye, Brookie! Mom, I can't believe you made me come home early. Look, Brookie, you are not doing good in math class. You need to spend more time studying, or you might have to repeat the grade, or, or do summer school, or worse, both. But, Mom, it's not fair. It's so nice outside, and my friends are running a lemonade stand, and you're making me stay here and study. Well, your teacher said you got a terrible grade on your math test, so you need to go to your room and study. I've got some things to do around the house. <laughs> Fine, Mom. Brookie, I know you don't want this, but I'm doing it for your own good because I care about you. Uh huh, sure, Mom. I don't want to be doing extra math homework. This is so lame. I, I need to do something. Maybe the teacher will let me work for extra credit. Or maybe the teacher would just think I'm a nice person and give me a better grade. <gasps> she loves chocolates and flowers. I could go to the store and buy her those. And I bet she'd change my grade. I just have to sneak out so that my mom doesn't see me. <laughs> la, 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 la. Ugh, there's so many dishes here. How does a family that's so small make so many dishes? Ugh, I hate doing the dishes. Well, I'm a grown-up, so I guess I have to. Look, Molly, I think we finally have a customer. Uh, Daisy? That lady is riding a horse. Well, maybe her horse is thirsty. <laughs> well, howdy there. I was wondering if I could have one of your laminates for me and one for my horse. <laughs> Seriously? You want two laminates? I sure do. It's pretty hot out here today. My horse gets really thirsty. You betcha. Two lemonades coming right up. Better make it three. Those are smaller glasses, and my horse is so thirsty. Well, it's sort of an interesting customer, but it's a customer. Oh, wait, Molly, give her three lemonades. Um, this is our very best lemonade. It's super delicious. Here you go, horsey. <laughs> Molly, are you going to freak out like you did when that psycho rabbit chased you? No, I love horses. They're amazing. Lemonade, get your delicious, freshly squeezed, extra sugarly lemonade. <gasps> Hi. Extra sugary lemonade, you say? Oh, I could use a boost. I'm trying to get some extra homework done tonight. Well, I've got the thing just for you then. 25 cents, please. Sure thing. Ooh, this looks delicious. Mm. Lemonade, get your fresh hot lemonade. Molly, lemonade's not hot. And if it is, add more ice cubes. Hey, what's up? Whoa, he's sort of cute. <laughs> uh, Daisy, um, thinks you're cute. Molly! <laughs> Oopsie, I don't think she wanted you to know that. Um, she's just kidding, right, Molly? Uh, so could I have, like, a couple glasses of lemonade? I gotta go work out at the gym, and I'm really thirsty. Okay, sure, here you go. Whoa, thanks, and, uh, you're cute, too. Me? Uh, no, the pigtails. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Step back any time. Bye. Oh, boy. You are ridiculous, Daisy. <sighs> but at least we've made tons of money. I think we've actually made enough so that we can uh, go on our water park field trip. Only thing is, is I drank some lemonade, too, and I have to go potty. So do I really bad. Well, I'm sure the lemonade stand will be okay for a minute while we both go. I'll race ya. Bye, <laughs> Molly. Ay, ay, ay. Hurry, Molly. I gotta go really bad. I'll try to. But no promises. Yeah. That frozen pizza was kind of cray cray. Molly, hurry up. I've got to go too. All right, all right. I'm coming. Did you stink it up there, Stinky McStinko? Um, uh oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. <laughs> it's a bathroom. You're supposed to stink it up. Last one to the lemonade stands, a rotten, stinky egg. Oh, wait, you already are that. Oh, very funny. Hey, Daisy, where'd you put the money? What do you mean, where'd I put the money? You probably took it up into the bathroom with you. Daisy, this isn't funny. There's like $50 missing from the 150 That's a whole portion of the money. Where is it? Honey, I'm serious. I don't have it. Well, you must have it because it's missing. I don't, Molly. I'm very responsible with money. You're the one that's not. Well, I didn't take the money. Oh, my God, Molly. Somebody stole some of our lemonade money. What? Th 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 that means that, that the three of us best friends can't go to the water park field trip together.
together. <gasps> oh no! This is terrible! I know. How will we even tell Brookie this has happened? It's all our fault because we took a potty break and... No, Molly, it's not our fault. It's the thieves' fault. <laughs> oh no. Mrs. Griffin looks like she's in a great mood today. Uh-oh. Not. Mm, what are you doing here early? Class for another 20 minutes. Um, Mrs. Griffin, I brought your favorite. Aww. White roses? What? Why'd you bring me those? I also brought your favorite Hershey's milk chocolate bar. That's nice. Why? It's not my birthday. Well, I just know that you're my favorite. You're... Your favorite, those are your favorite, I mean. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied. But also, I'm hoping that I could be one of your favorite students and maybe you could change your mind about the bad grade you gave me on my math test because <gasps> I can't go to the water park if you give me a bad grade. Sorry, Brookie, but no can do. You got the grade, you earned the grade, you keep the grade. What? But I brought you flowers and chocolate! And they'll smell delicious both of them wait what are you going to eat the flowers i mean you know what i mean i'm i'm a math teacher not an english teacher or a language teacher or whatever okay um well could i do extra credit for a better grade please please i'm begging you okay meet me after school i'll let you do the extra credit and then we'll talk about a better grade thank you mrs griffin thank you i just can't believe it this has been the worst day of my life well, Molly, it's just started. Maybe it'll get better. If it's anything like yesterday, I don't think so. Hey, guys. What's... Molly, Daisy, what's wrong? <gasps> Someone stole some of our money from our lemonade stand. And they are evil, they're a monster, they're a criminal. And as soon as I find out who it is, I'm sending them to jail forever. What? Molly, you're being ridiculous right now. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Oh, Really? Is there ever a reasonable explanation for someone being a thief? I don't think so. And I'm going to pursue the law to a thousand degrees. Uh, Molly, I'm not really sure that's how you say that. I don't care. They're going to pay for this. They're going to pay. Because now the three of us can't go to the water park together. Molly, I think you're being rude. I mean, I'm sure they had a good reason to take that money. What? I don't even know what you're talking about, but, but can't you see my tears in my eyes? You're supposed to be my best friend. Uh-oh. Okay, class. You can argue on your own time. Get in your seats, please. Are you ready for your extra credit? Um, yeah, but why are you holding a mop? Because. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did the janitor quit? Are you taking over his job part-time? No, you are. What? what? Why would you have me clean the school? Do you want to go on this water park trip and have your extra credit or not? Um, yeah, I do. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Count the classrooms as you go. It'll be very good, simple math for you to remember. Oh, hello. Are you selling Girl Scout cookies? Oh, why are you crying? Because, um, I have a lemonade stand with my sister and my best friend across the street and... And someone came and stole some of the money. And I was wondering, do you have a ring camera so I can review the footage and see who it was so I can turn them into the police? Absolutely. Um, let me just pull up my iPad. Okay, we can look at this together. Um, okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Are you kidding me right now? It was Brookie who stole the money? Oh, M, G. Hey Molly, what's up? I'm kind of busy right now. Did you come by the lemonade stand and steal the money? What? Well, I, I, okay, I helped build the lemonade stand, Molly, and and well, well, you were supposed to split the money with me, but you still came by and didn't say anything and stole it. Wait, Molly. Don't, don't turn me into the police or anything. Uh oh Yeah, that's exactly what you deserve, Brookie. No, please don't. I can explain everything. Meet me at the school. Why are you at the school so late? Just do it, please, Molly. I promise I'll explain everything. You better have a good explanation. 
Okay, Brookie, I'm at the school. Where are you? in the bathroom meet you in there <sighs> fine but why have to meet her in the school bathroom nobody knows the trouble I've seen rookie are you in here oh don't tell me she's in the boys bathroom <gasps> that's totally not allowed excuse you why are you in the boys bathroom whoopsie sorry I guess she was in the girls bathroom but I didn't see her um, Rookie, what are you doing in here? I'm cleaning the toilet. <laughs> it looks like you're sitting on it. No, I just slipped on the wet floor. Sorry about that. Uh, so why are you in the bathroom? And tell me why you stole the money and where are you going? I'm going out here because those potties smell horrible. Look, uh, the reason why I took the, the money was because that was my portion of it. Okay, well, why didn't you say that? You could have just told me that on the phone. That doesn't make me feel any better. Well, you see, I can't go to the water park. Say what? Yeah, I got a bad grade on my math test, and my mom said that I'm not allowed to go. Unless, of course, I could somehow get my grade changed. So I thought if I bought my teacher her favorite things, flowers and chocolate, she might change her mind and think I was the most amazing person ever. But she didn't think so, huh? I've tried that with getting out of detention. Yeah, so she said I could do extra credit by cleaning the whole school. But I took the money so I could buy her the chocolates and, and flowers because I didn't want to disappoint you guys or myself that I couldn't go on the field trip to the water park. Well, I guess I'm not that mad, but why are you doing this for extra credit? Detention would have been easier. Because this is what she offered me to do if I wanted to go and change my grade so I could go on the field trip. Wow, I just sort of jumped to conclusions about this, Brookie. I guess you had a lot on your mind. Yeah, I did. I don't want to miss out on going to the water park with my best friends. Well, Brookie, there's only one thing to do. Are you going to arrest me? <gasps> the police officer came in here. I was thinking about it, but no. I'm going to help you scrub these toilets. Wait, what? That's right. Best friends stick with it together. Aww. Then, when the teacher gives you a better grade and extra credit, we're going to the water park together. Are you serious, Molly? I mean, you actually look kind of happy about scrubbing toilets. Yes. No! I actually have to fart! <sniffs> oh, Molly. I'm not excited about <laughs> scrubbing the toilets. But I will because you're my BFF. Oh, Molly. Thanks so much. Anything for you, Brookie. Anything for you. Can I believe my eyes right now? Molly, are you actually doing your homework? Yeah, I'm trying to be a good student. Wow, congratulations, Molly. Yay! Hopefully you can actually succeed. Well, uh, <laughs> no promises. Whoa, I wonder who that could be. It's probably Brookie. She texted me earlier and said her mom is going on this health kick, so she's only putting fruits and vegetables in the house. Yeah. And she knows we have donuts. <laughs> Coming, Brookie! Hey, where's Brookie? Maybe she's already in the kitchen eating a donut. No, no, Brookie. Wait, what? Did Amazon deliver a package? Oh boy, I love presents! Maybe my mom got me one because I've been doing my homework lately. Whoa, Molly, where's Bookie? Um, she's not here, but... You got a present, I know! Yay! Did Bookie bring that? No, it was just out front. I think maybe Amazon delivered it. Let me see that. To Molly and Daisy? From a secret admirer? <gasps> Someone wants to ask me to the dance. La, 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 la. Well, then why would it be to both of us? Oh, yeah. Good point. I thought it was because I was doing my homework, but... You always do your homework, so why should you get a prize? Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't seem fair. Well, let's open it and find out who it's from. Daisy, it's an invitation. An invitation to what? I hereby announce that you've been invited to a royal sleepover? What? That's amazing! Yeah, but who invited us? Love your secret admirer. I don't know. Hmm, 
Something seems kind of fishy about this, Molly. I don't know if we should go. Are you kidding me? I know exactly who it's from. It could be for some crazy person <laughs> who just wants us to go to their house. Or it could be from that new famous YouTuber that just moved into Brookhaven, but she wants to keep her new friends on the down low, so she's invited us over to her mansion. I don't know, Molly, but you could be right, so we should at least go and check it out. And the sleepover's tonight, so we've got to go pack a bag. Come on, Daisy. This is so exciting. Why did you put the package in the elevator? Oopsie. I didn't mean to stash the box in there. I guess I was supposed to take it to the trash. <laughs> now it's stuck in the elevator. Okay, that's kind of funny. Come on, Daisy. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, all right. I'm ready, Molly. Jeepers, creepers. I still don't know about this. Daisy, you jumped over the railing. You're not supposed to do that. Mom said you'll get a time out. Well, I'm just so excited. I couldn't think as to wait. And I just want to get to the sleepover. I thought you thought it was going to be creepy. Well, I'm not sure yet. But I can't wait to find out. And look at Molly. A limo actually came to pick us up. Holy guacamole. Fancy. This is going to be an amazing sleepover. I just know it. Come on, Daisy, get in. Molly, seriously? Are you going to hang your head on the sunroof the entire ride? Whee! <laughs> Whoa, it's freezing out here. But I don't care. This is amazing. <laughs> Daisy, are you driving? Well, the driver decided that he was going to not show up. So I'm just going to drive us over there. I have the address and everything. Well, drive careful. You don't want to chop my head off on one of those bridges. Well, then you better actually get in here. Can't. Have to have so much fun. Whee! <laughs> Never drove in a limo before. Whee! <laughs> Holy macaroni! Is this where the sleepover is? I think so, Molly. This is where the address was. Wow. I bet they're going to have the most delicious pizza ever. Oh, great. What are you losers doing here? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? I'm here for the exclusive sleepover, duh. And you guys are way too well losers to do the sleepover. Oh, yeah? Well, here's our invitation, Sarah. We got one, too. Wait, you got an invitation, Sarah? Uh, yeah, duh. Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie, what are you doing here? I got an invitation to a really cool sleepover at this amazing mansion. But wait a minute. I thought this was a hotel that closed down years ago. Well, obviously somebody bought it and moved in here and made it a house. I think that's amazing. I don't know about this, guys. Something is telling me in my tummy that this isn't right. What are you talking about? It's probably an invite from that new famous YouTuber that moved into Brookhaven. That's exactly what I told her, Sarah. Whoa. We actually thought of like for once, Sarah. I don't think so. I would never think like you. You're an ignoramus. Hey, look, we all got invited to this sleepover, Sarah, which means we all need to get along. I don't know, Molly. I think we should go home. Don't be ridiculous. This place looks amazing. Who's going? Um, I am. I am. And so am I. Daisy and Brown. Okay, fine. But only because I don't want you guys to get in trouble without me. Come on, guys. Let's go. Whoa. Look at this place. Yeah, it's amazing. What was that? It was the sound of the door locking. Wait, what? No, no that can't be right. Like, let's nobody panic. I mean, it's probably just a lock-in party. Those are very exclusive. Yeah, guys, look at the size of this television. It's amazing. Uh, Brooke, I don't think that's a television. I think that's actually, like, where you check in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oopsie. It kind of looked like a TV to me. But look at this. They have an indoor pool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, um, I'm sure it's just one of those lock-in parties. Right, Daisy? I don't know. I told you I felt really crazy about this before we got here. And now it's in an old abandoned hotel. And where's the people who are hosting the party? 
Yeah, that's a good question. Where's the host? What just happened to the lights? I, 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 I. OMG, Molly. This is freaking me out. Yeah, me too. Oh, wait, the lights just came back on. Maybe it's just short circuited. Now, where is that host that's like supposed to be here to celebrate this sleepover with us? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Maybe they didn't hear us show up. Um, I think they heard us because, well, uh, the door locked. Molly, I think I just saw the host. What? Well, what? There was somebody standing right behind Sarah. Don't be ridiculous. There's nobody standing behind Sarah. Oh, this is so lame. Where's all the pizza? Oh my god! Did you guys just see that? It was like a ghost or something! Ah! Oh my god, this was a really bad idea! Ah, ah. The doors are locked! We can't even get out of here! What are we gonna do now? It's, 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 it's a ghost! We are gonna try not to panic. Okay, everybody huddle together. We have to decide what to do. <laughs> But you never listen to me. Well, I just think the sleepover is lame. Of course it's lame. It's given by a ghost or something. Well, guys, let's just think about this, okay? We just have to try to survive the night. And then maybe the doors will unlock in the morning. I've seen this movie, I think, before. Really? I don't know, but one like it. So let's go upstairs and see if we can find a bedroom. Well, we can't barricade the door or anything because the ghost can still get in. No, but we should try to get some rest. I mean, I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of the ghost. Well, first maybe we should check the refrigerator. I'm hungry. <laughs> a few minutes later. What? No refrigerator? This really is a creepy nightmare sleepover! Wait, I smell something. It smells kind of like food. Ooh. <laughs> Score! Mm, that's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Molly, that could be poison. Stay away from that. Doesn't taste like poison. Okay, for good. Ay, 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 Molly, come on. Let's go up to the bedroom that we can find and 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 try to get some rest. Molly, if I have to be trapped in a creepy hotel with anyone, I'm glad it's my BFF. Aww. Me too, me too. Okay, let's stay in Emerald Room. That seems like a good room, right? Wow, everything's so green. <laughs> She's in this room! Nope, Emerald Room is a definite no! Definite no on the Emerald Room! Let's find a different one. Holy guacamole! Next floor, please! Ooh. The Royal Room? This seems pretty cool. I am, I am royalty! Wow, this is a pretty posh bathroom. Yep, this one's a go for me. And if there's no ghost, that's even better. Look at this artwork, though. That artwork looks like it has eyes. It's kind of creeping me out. Molly, where's everyone else? I don't know. Maybe they got lost on the way. Or maybe they're not royalty, so they can't stay here. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that's it. But seriously, though, what's up with the artwork in this hotel? Like, this is art? It looks like a prison cell. <laughs> they need to upgrade their art here. Um, where is my sister, though? And where is Sarah? Wait, how do I get out of this room? All right, here's the door. Let's go see if I can find them. Daisy, Sarah, where are you? Come on, we're in the royal room. Molly, did you find Sarah and Daisy? No, I think we better go back to the first floor. Maybe they got lost on the way here. After we saw that ghost, everybody sort of just scattered. Rookie, look, it's a grown-up. Hi, hi, I'm Molly, and, and I got this creepy invitation. Well, I didn't think it was creepy, but it's actually creepy. And, 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 and I, I... Molly, slow down. He can't understand anything you're saying. Okay, I got this invitation to come to a sleepover here, but when I got here, all there was was a creepy ghost, and she locked us in! Creepy ghost, you say, huh? Hmm, I see. Can you help us? Call 911! Or open the door or something! <laughs> <gasps> Molly, why is he laughing like that? 
<laughs> Seriously, why are you laughing like that? Do you have like a laughing thing that you do? Like, is that how you laugh? <laughs> yeah, his laugh is pretty weird. <laughs> Yeah, Molly. She just disappeared one day. They said everyone bullied her so much and didn't pay attention to her that she literally vanished. <gasps> what? Ah! Ah, we're stuck in this hotel with Crazy Marie? Ah! Molly, what are we going to do? I don't know, but I would say whatever we do, no one falls asleep. Do you understand? Yes, Molly. I won't fall asleep. Trust me. Well, I'm kind of tired right now. So... Wake up, Brookie! This is no time for sleeping! And where is Sarah? I don't know, Molly. But I think maybe we... She took... Brookie! Don't close your eyes! Don't! Oh, sorry. I'm just so sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. And so tonight I was like... Wondering if I was going to be able to stay awake for the sleepover, and the answer is probably no. Well, get serious about staying awake because there she is again! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want, want to be seen. Let's play! I never had a sleepover. Blah! <laughs> Molly! Sorry, I tried to hold it in, but when I get nervous, I sort of fart a lot. <laughs> Ew, Molly, that smells like a bean burrito. With rotten eggs on top. <laughs> uh, oopsie. I don't know where Sarah is, but Marie is not going to take us down. Huddle in close, friends. We're about to discuss our plan. Oh, Molly, you still smell like a rotten egg. Why are you making us come in close? Well, unless you want Marie to hear us. My plan is this. Look, everybody knows what happened to Marie. Everybody ignored her or bullied her. And she just sort of disappeared. So maybe if we listen to her and tell her we'll be her friend, she'll stop haunting this old hotel. I don't know, Miley. That's risky. I don't see how we have any other choice. I mean, she's got us locked in here. Yeah, she has a point, Daisy. We have to try. Okay, well, I, I guess we can try. All right, let's split up. Absolutely not! Are you crazy? Okay, well... If we want to have a chance of talking to her, we should probably do it one-on-one. -on -one. We don't want her to think we're going to bully her. She's got a point, Daisy. Okay, I'll go upstairs to one of those creepy rooms. I'll go to the kitchen, because if we send Molly to the kitchen, she'll get distracted and just want to eat food the entire time. Hey, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. <laughs> okay, I'll stand in front of the elevator, because that's where she seems to appear the most. Just remember... Be really nice. <laughs> okay, okay, don't be freaked out. Hi, Marie, it's me, Molly, and, um, I don't know where you went. Maybe back into the walls or something, but I just wanted to say I know what happened to you at Brookhaven High, and it wasn't your fault. You were probably a good person, and everyone ignored you. And when you tried to say, hey, I'm Marie, people bullied you. That wasn't fair. Go away! You'll never be my friend! No, listen. I can be your friend, Marie. I promise. I'm a good friend. I mean, I don't do my homework very often, so don't ask me for tutoring. But I know how to have fun. I know how to make pizza. Pizza, Marie. Remember when you used to love pizza? Wait, did you like pizza? Are you lactose intolerant? Too much talking! I don't like talking! Well, um, maybe you just need someone to listen. I'm a pretty good listener. Do you want me to listen? Oh, well, I guess so. Ah! Oh, you're, you're creepy looking. Thanks, that's not a real good way to start a friendship. No one has seen me for 50 years. Whoa, really? No, just kidding. 
<laughs> it's only been ten, but <laughs> you believed it, which was kind of funny. Jeez, I can't imagine why nobody wanted to be your friend. Also a joke! <laughs> okay, don't make me go back to ghost status, because I will. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. Anyway, my name is Molly, and my sister Daisy's here. My best friend, Brookie, and, well, Sarah. She's not the nicest, but, you know, we tolerate her. <laughs> um, well, do you want to be my friend? <gasps> of course I'd be your friend. I don't know if I could ever go back to Brookhaven. I mean, everyone teased me and then just ignored me. Well, you could be our friend, but you have to stop being a ghost. I, I can try. You can do this. I know you can, Marie. Just think happy thoughts. Think I have friends. Marie, you're doing it! Marie, you did it! I feel so, so human. That's because you are human, Marie. And you're important. And you matter. Oh. I've never had a friend like you. Uh, but could we never go back to that creepy Marie where you talk like, Bruh! and also, um, you're like a ghost? Yeah, that was pretty creepy. Sorry about that. And where's our friend Sarah? Oh, um, I just heard that she was kind of a bully, so I, uh, stuck her in a wall. What? Uh, Bree, you probably should undo that. That's a little bit psycho behavior. Okay, okay, no problem. And also, would you mind unlocking the door? Yeah, but you are going to be my friend after you walk out the door, right? Marie, of course. Uh, you know, you don't have to force me to be your friend just so I can leave. We'll just be your friend. Oh, I see Marie is back to her normal self. That's good. Um, try not to be crazy again. Uh -oh. Hey, it wasn't all her fault. She had a rough childhood. Well, thanks for being my friends, guys, and coming for my coming to my sleepover. Well, it was definitely the most creepiest one I've ever been to. <laughs> so you win an award for that. For sure. But Marie, we're here for you. We're your friends now. I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids. I know, Luke. I can't believe we're all grown up now. Yeah, and about to have a family of our own. <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute. Oh, don't tease me. You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery? I'm really excited about it, Molly. I think this could be a really good place for her to come to school. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go meet the manager. I love you, honey. I love you too. Now come on, let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby. Hi, welcome to Twilight Daycare. You must be Molly and Luke. Um, hi. Does someone need to turn your frown upside down? <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. Uh, no thank you. Sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much. You you need to eat more food. Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes. Are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect. Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely! Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. <laughs> This place is so adorable. Oh, 
look, honey, and this is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. <laughs> um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Aww. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Uh, you're welcome. If you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're just feeling very happy these days because my belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, <laughs> we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving. So yes, yes, I do need a cookie. Uh-oh, ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly is so huge. Like, seriously, I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Uh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. <sighs> Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> My baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, uh, you just won't rest, will you? Nah, although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine, whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Well, let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese! This place is amazing! I gotta look around. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, be careful. You know the baby. Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby. Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now! <laughs> I gotta do that again. That was so much fun. Come on, Luke! It's like when we were kids! Oh, I landed on my tummy! Ugh. I'm telling you, she's going to give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines. They make you fly in the air. Whoa. Whoa. Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Whoa. Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. Wait, what? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I, I'm going to have the baby. What are we going to do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's gonna have going to. She's gonna have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh man, I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom though, and and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously, you're gonna have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay, I'm serious for reals. I'm being serious. <sighs> no, look at my face. I'm I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Jeez. <sighs> Ow, I ran into the door! I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi, I'm Daphne and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's, she's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but 
Protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 um. I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it. Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense. Everybody stop talking. Ah, I can have a baby. Wow, your tummy is impressively big. She's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to push, Molly. Ah! Congratulations, Molly. It's a beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, 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 that's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh no, I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Uh, which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Well, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. Uh-oh! La la la, la la la. Here's your little girl. Have you decided what you're going to name her? Whoa! Are you about to have another baby, Molly? Uh, no. They just came and served us pie, cake, all this delicious food. So, I was really hungry. I don't eat a lot. <laughs> this is my ate too much belly. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Um, well, here's your little girl. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Maggie. Oh, that's an adorable name. Oh, thank you. Um, but wait, are are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh, no. None of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like I don't like to bother anybody. I just I just mind my own business. I'm You're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV. Oh, yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little demon child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm going to shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa, Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute. She looks like me. She acts like me. Hey. I, 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 I can't believe it. What is it, Mrs. Acker? Is everything okay? 
I don't think so. Why? What's going on? And why are you hanging out with Hannah? Everybody knows she's the troublemaker. Uh-oh! Because I think Hannah might actually be my daughter. Wait, what? Have you gone bonkers? Did you get a bonk on your head? <laughs> Listen, lady, I'm no kid of yours. Actually, that's exactly what I would have said when I was her age. I was basically a little demon child. And, well, Maggie doesn't look anything like me or my husband. Nor does she act like either of us. Hmm. That sounds like you've got a bonk on your head and have gone crazy. <laughs> but, but I'm pretty sure that Hannah is actually my daughter. <sighs> Seriously, I'm going to call the doctor for you. Go on in. He's going to check out your head. What? No, I'm telling you the truth. I don't think you're my mom, lady. You're crazy. Why won't anybody listen to me? She really is my daughter. I know it. I can sense it. She's just like me. She looks just like me. I'm going to have to call the police if you don't calm down. Ugh. the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend! Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine! I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully! Aww. Okay, class, um, everybody come on in, come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Aww, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange-yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh, now she's picking on my fashion sense, too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. 
the the uh the class is over so uh, yeah i just need to go get a cup of coffee it's monday and my brain's not awake yet okay no problem mr jared Phew! i'm glad that math test is over quiz whatever whatever it was it was horrible and i don't ever want to take it ever again <laughs> time to get out my books from english class what's this it's a letter i wonder who it could be from dear molly i don't want to be your friend anymore you're mean my BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Brookie... Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but... If you need me to be, I could be a friend, too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better. But, but I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says, Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must sort of be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Pookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh, my God. Pookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look, it's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh, oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers and now she doesn't even like me anymore <laughs> who's texting me oh it's brookie i'm i'm not even gonna look at it i mean why should i she's she's not even my friend anymore i mean she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend so why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something i don't need to look at those i i don't need to look at them we're not friends anymore. 20 minutes later. Ha! Ah, what are you guys doing here? Well, we are walking home from school. You missed the rest of the day. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? Skipping school? Ugh, you're obviously not a good student. Well, um, that was never in question, was it? I mean, what's in question here is if I was a good friend and I don't think I was a bad one. I mean, I, I never have lied to you and... and I don't think I was mean to you, and if I have been, I, I... We don't want to uh -huh. hear it. Ugh, what's that smell? Ew, you smell like a dumpster. No wonder you're next to it, because <laughs> you smell like garbage. Molly, I'm sorry, but Sarah just seems like a better friend. I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, but she's a bully! You want to be a bully? Well, I mean, you just don't know her like I do, okay? So, um, we're breaking up as friends. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? Sorry, Molly, but no, I don't. I just want to be Sarah's friend now, and she's going to be my, my BFF, right, Sarah? Yeah, whatever. We're going to be BFFs. It's going to be awesome. I mean, she brings me coffee in the morning from Starbucks, so she's pretty cool. Listen to the yourself, Brookie. She's not a real friend. She's a bully. Molly, you're not going to change my mind about this. I want to be Sarah's friend. Well, I guess all of those years of us being BFFs mean nothing to you. You're right, Molly. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Okay. Goodbye! <laughs> My life as I know it is over. It's just over. I mean, I don't even have a BFF anymore. Who am I even?
Whoa, Molly, is your day still going really, really bad? Totally. Sarah and Brookie found me by the dumpster. What were you doing by the dumpster? Ew, it kind of smells bad. Don't remind me, they already did. What's going on, Molly? She decided she doesn't want to be my BFF anymore. What? So the letter was true? Yeah, every word. She's going to be Sarah's BFF. Oh, Molly, do you need a hug? Yes, I need a hug. <laughs> except for except for Brookhaven. We're like ghosts. We can't actually hug each other. <laughs> well, we can just hug like this, Molly. Here you go. There's a good hug for you. Oh, a Brookhaven hug. It'll have to do. <laughs> Molly, I'm always here for you. Even though we don't get along. Sometimes I'm your sister and I love you. And I'll be your BFF until you find a new one. But what about Brookie? I thought she was my everything. My BFF. Well, Molly, I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. I hope things get better for you. Me too. Me too. Dr. Barker for seeing us today. Now, Molly, tell him what your symptoms are. I don't want it. Molly, well, it's embarrassing. <sighs> Molly has been having some tummy troubles. Oh, I see. What kind of tummy troubles, Molly? Like the stomach bug or? Actually, she's been having a lot of gas <gasps> and running to the bathroom. Mom, this is humiliating. Molly, he's a doctor. It's totally fine. You probably just need to have an x-ray of your tummy or an ultrasound, and then they'll just give you some medicine and you'll feel all better. You don't want your stomach to hurt anymore, do you? Uh. I think it's a really good idea, Molly, for you to go in and have an ultrasound and an x-ray just to make sure there's nothing going on with your tummy, okay? Fine, let's do this. Yeah. See, doctor? She definitely needs to be here. Hey, a little fart now and again isn't going to kill anybody. Oh, I don't know. That one just might. Okay, get in the x-ray machine and let's close the door quick before I die of s the smell. Oh, very funny, doctor. Very funny. Okay, Molly, I just need you to lie completely still. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back in the room and we'll have a little discussion with your mom. Fine. I hate going to the doctor, seriously. Sometimes coming to the doctor is necessary to keep you healthy. And it seems to me that you most definitely are lactose intolerant. What? What does that mean? It means you're allergic to milk and milk products. You can't have cheese or milk or what? I love cheese, especially on tacos and on soup mm. and on salads when you make me eat a salad, which is annoying, except for the cheese. I can't eat cheese anymore. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but you also can't have any um, ice cream. Ah, this is the worst day of my life. Take it back. I don't want to be lactose intolerant. Please, doctor. I'll give you anything. I'll give you a million dollars. I don't have a million dollars, but please take it back. I'm sorry. It's the diagnosis. It's how your body works. You can learn to live with it. You can have almond ice cream. Almonds? Now, how on earth do they make almonds into ice cream? Ew! Now, remember, Molly, what the doctor said. No more milk products or your tummy will really hurt. Uh-oh! This stinks! I know, Molly, but I'll try to pick up some new things at the store that you can try out, and um, they should be pretty good, I'm hoping. Ugh! Ugh this lousy apple tastes so healthy! Oh, I just want to eat something delicious like pizza! Ugh. Hey, Molly, what's up? How'd your doctor appointment go? I guess it was fine! Oh, wow. Let's turn your phone upside down. My treat. We could go get ice cream. Wait, um, what? Yeah, my treat. We could get your favorite strawberry. Mmm. Um, uh, well, um, sure, why not? Yeah, you hesitated there, Molly. Are you sure that it'll be okay with your tummy and everything? It'll be just fine with my tummy. I'll make it fine with my tummy. Okay, let's go. Mm. This ice cream's delicious. 
tell me about it. Mint chocolate chip is one of my favorites. So, Molly, did they tell you what was wrong with your tummy at the doctor? Um, uh, not really. Everything's just fine. Oh, that's good, Molly. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just processing my ice cream, okay? All right, Molly, you don't have to get so rude about it. Mm, they really do have the best ice cream. Yes, yeah, sweetest in Brookhaven. Uh-oh. I don't feel so good. Why did I eat that ice cream yesterday? Ugh. Oh, hey, Molly. How are you? Whoa. Molly, are you all right? It looks like you're going to, like, faint or barf. I know. My stomach is kind of being weird. Uh, Molly, you don't think it's from that ice cream, do you? No, I'm sure it's not from that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, class. Everybody settle down. Wow, it looks like a lot of people are out today. Must be the flu bug again. I think Molly might have the <gasps> flu. No, I don't. I'm fine. I swear, I'm fine. Molly, are you sure you're not in denial about what the doctor said? I'm fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I feel like I have to fart, but I can't do it in class. That'll be so embarrassing. Oh, why? Why me? Oh, well, good morning, Logan. Thank you for joining us. Oh, no. There's Logan. I hope he doesn't notice that my stomach's being weird. Whoa, well, Molly, why are you such a funny color? Do you have to, like, fart or something? <laughs> what? No, I don't have to fart. No, I don't have to fart. Oh, what is going on with my stomach? Come on, stomach. Work with me here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she actually drank me. I know, and now I get to exist once again. What kind of fart should I send her? Silent but deadly? <laughs> I'll embarrass her in front of everybody in the classroom. Thanks to you, Milk. We really do make a good team, don't we, Gas? <laughs> we should. Should I send her a silent but deadly? Or should I make it so loud the entire school blows up <gasps> with a fart? <laughs> oh, what's going on with my stomach right now? Molly, don't fart. D -d -d don't do it. Hold it in. Hold it in. <laughs> she can't hold me in forever. I'm about to burst onto the scene and make a party. A farty party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gas, you're so funny. What's this? I can just move around a lot in here? <laughs> Her tummy will be bubbling all over the place. <laughs> oh, wait. Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. You spoil all the fun. Step aside, Gas. The big boss is here. Oh, man. You spoil all the fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, teacher... Teacher, teacher, teacher! Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. Right now, right now! Molly, you always say you have to go to the bathroom and then you never come back to class. You skip class and say that you have to go to the bathroom. Not today. We have a quiz and I actually need you to pass it so you don't have to repeat this grade again. No, 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 no. I know a lot of other times I was just fibbing about having to go to the bathroom, but this time I really do! Let me go to the bathroom. Seriously, please, 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 please. Um, teacher, I don't think Molly is kidding around. I'm not kidding around! Let me go! Molly, do I need to give you detention? Uh-oh! Can't hold it in! I can't, 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 can't hold it in! Dude! She's gonna blow! Roblox game with my BFF. 
Me too. It's going to be so much fun. Brookie, I'm excited to be on your channel. You're doing so amazing on YouTube. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Molly. Molly and I are really supportive of each other, um, especially when we play Roblox for YouTube. And I'm just really happy that she taught me how to be a YouTuber. Okay, Brookie, this is teamwork, so we have to work together to escape this evil mom. Okay, I think we can do this, Molly. I'm not too worried because we're really good at teamwork. You go first, Brookie. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Don't worry, Molly. I think we both got across and we're okay. Whoa, it's like the game glitched right there. It just knew that we were BFFs and that we couldn't live without each other. Oh, that's such a nice thing to say. Boing, boing, boing. Um, Molly, I think I accidentally died. Will you wait for me? Of course I will, Brookie. Hey, guys, do you ever play at Roblox with your best friend? If you do, or if you really want to, slam that like button. Oh, my gosh. Is that? Oh, my God. There's a, there's somebody from a, Among Us in here right now. Um, Molly, I think we can actually become the evil mom. <gasps> oh, MG. Let's see how much it costs. Who's that, evil dad? Four, 400 Robux? Oh, I have insufficient funds. Womp, womp, womp. I guess I just have to play as myself. Yourself is pretty awesome. Wait, Molly, you were supposed to be waiting for me. Where'd you go? Molly? Molly? Down here, Brookie. Jeepers. I knew we were paying attention. Sorry, I was trying to become the evil mom and I got like a little bit distracted. And there's all these um, imposters everywhere. Oh, yeah. I used to play Among Us back in the day quite a bit, actually. I haven't played in a long time. Maybe I should. Yeah, that'd be really fun. Maybe next time we will. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to go back here and go through the wall. Brookie, are you sleeping right now? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I'm standing on the blue button. Where should I stand? I don't get this part. Let's see. This is the only... Oh, I see. It makes the fan stop. Okay, got it, Molly. <laughs> I was totally ignoramus there for a minute. Okay, I think you have to go in there, and that makes that fan stop. Don't let it chop, chop, chop me, Molly. Don't worry, Brookie. I'd never do that. Okay, Molly, I'm standing on the button for you. Come on, come on, come on. La, 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 la. Uh oh, wait. I'm not supposed to jump up and down. I would definitely chop your head off, and that would be so bad. Yeah, because then you really would have to live without your best friend. Um, guys? Ah! It's definitely. Ah, she got you, Brookie! Oh, man. Aw. Evil mom with the booger in her nose totally killed me. The evil mom with the booger in her nose totally killed me. Nice song, Brookie. You've been hanging out with me too much, I can tell. Um, maybe just a little. You come up with all these silly songs just like I would do. Um, guys, she has an old school phone. She's old and evil. What? A red key? What am I supposed to do with that? Um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, she got me! Oh, no fair. Actually, I say that all the time, but the truth is, Brookie, it is pretty fair if she gets you. Because, like, it's just a part of the game and stuff. I know, but I don't want to die. What? She's coming down the hall after me. That's, wait, that's not fair. <laughs> never give up and never surrender. I can do anything. If you put your mind to it, whoa, 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 you can do it. <laughs> you have the key, Brookie. You picked it up. Oh, thank goodness. I thought maybe I was never going to get out of here. All right, guys, I have the key. The evil mom is still chasing me. It's like I can feel her breathing down my neck right now. <gasps> there is the lock. Oh, my God, Molly, we're about to unlock the door. I'm so happy right now. Did she follow us? Yeah, she's still patrolling the hallway. No big deal. Go ahead, Brookie. Go on up. Okay, Molly, I'm going. Um, okay, there's a red button and a blue one. Whoopsie. Okay, I made it. Are you, Molly? Um, go ahead. You have to get on there and then come back up. Wait, I think you have to let it go down first. Okay, there we go. 
Hey, imposter, stop that. My friend has to get on it. And there's no Molly. Oh wait, there's Molly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Molly, it was just like your head all of a sudden. It was so weird. I know, these games sometimes just glitch and then it's just ridiculous. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, back over here to the red one. Okay, got it. All right, Molly, go ahead. I'm gonna um, send it up. All right, guys, here comes Molly. <laughs> she was like half in there and half not. Okay, um, I think we're supposed to go in here for a minute, Molly, and pick up a crowbar. Not really sure why, but I think we're gonna probably definitely need it. I'm ready for the next stage. Now I have to help my BFF up here. Aww. You got this, Molly. Come on. Did you get the crowbar? Yeah, I got a crowbar. Let's see if we can pry our door open and get out of here. Get away from this evil mom. I think we need it for this vent right here, actually. Yeah, we do. Got it. Let's go. Okay, there is a blue one and also a red one. Wait, where's my best friend? She gets stuck in the vent or something? Molly, where are you? One eternity later. Oopsie, I thought I picked up the crowbar, but I didn't. Oh, Molly, that stinks. Okay, but we can keep going. Everything's gonna be fine. So, um, now I have to jump over here. And where should I jump now? Okay, maybe over here? Oh, Molly, I need the red ones now. Yeah, perfect. And now I need the blue ones again. Bossy, bossy, bossy. Sorry, I just want to win the game. Okay, now I need the red ones. And I think I can make that jump. Okay, now your turn, Molly. This um, imposter wants to be our friend really bad. One minute, 37 seconds later. That's sort of cheating though, Molly. You know that? We're supposed to use like teamwork for this. Okay, fine. Um, how do we get across? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna jump on the red one. And then, okay, whoa, why did I go into the water? I don't, I don't understand. That was weird. Ones. Okay, Molly, um, you can get on the blue one if you want. Okay, let's go. Uh, Brookie, there's a little bit of a lag if you haven't noticed in this game. It's kind of glitching, so, um, yeah. Wait till I get on things, okay? Oh, sorry, Molly. <laughs> Whoopsie. Molly's kind of grumpy. You guys think she needs a piece of pizza or something? What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. Wait a minute. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Brookie. <laughs> oh, man. How are we getting back there now? Uh-oh. Um, use your jetpack? Okay. Aren't you glad I have this thing now? <laughs> oh, the imposter's helping me, Molly. <laughs> I guess I didn't need your jetpack after all. Oh, you have a new BFF, do you? Huh, huh, huh. Well, he does seem pretty nice and very helpful. Fine. He could be your BFF then. <gasps> oh, Molly, don't get jealous. I'm rocket launching out of here. Molly, come on. We need to help him too. He's been helping us the whole time. Wait, where is he? Um, little... Okay, there he is. Oh no, we're in a dungeon. This evil mom never wants us to leave, ever. Whoa, whoa, I'm just running for it. <laughs> it's like almost like you can't even die. You just keep running. Okay, now let's help our friend. Come on, little guy. Okay, you can do it. Okay, and then the blue one. There you go. I guess I can share you as a best friend. Well, no, I'm going to be your best friend. He could just be your friend, okay? Uh-oh. Sure, Molly, if you say so. Come on, come with us. You know, if he's the imposter, he's going to be evil, right? Um, well, uh, maybe? Should we be helping him? Seriously. Oh, my God, there's the mom. Um, oh, wait, I've got to shoot at her. Uh-oh. Whoa, she looks super angry. I think I'm shooting tennis balls at her. Or maybe they're rotten eggs. I don't know. Something smells like a rotten egg. Never give up and never surrender. Brookie, you can do anything. 
If I put my mind to it, whoa, 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 I can do it. Oh, are you saying that like really high in your voice? I know, right? I was like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I don't normally sing that much, guys. Brookie's a good singer. What are you talking about, Brookie? I'm okay, but not that great. Oh, right now, I just don't want to die because I'm so close to winning. I just want to win on the very first time that I try to take her down. Oh my gosh, she got so mad. Ass, that was weird. Come on, we're going to this awesome treehouse. She can't get us up there. Exactly. Can our little Among Us friend come? I guess, as long as he's not the real imposter. I guess we'll never know, Molly, but he did try to help us, so I think we should help him too. Um, apparently I went the wrong way because I can't... Ugh, there we go. Perfect! I finally made it! We are to be to the end? Nope, we gotta use a zip line. Whee! <laughs> now we're at the end! Bye, evil mom! It was so much fun trying to escape you, and then we actually did, because when BFFs work together, we can do anything. <laughs> That's right! Remember that time that we looked for money and the couch cushions and everything? And then um, we went to the store and bought something with it. But we decided to buy fake nails. We could only aff afford one set. So we each had one hand with fake nails on it. <laughs> I do remember that. But guess what? We were matchy-matchy because we were best friends. I had my right hand with... Um, wait a minute. Where did I just go? Did you take me back to the beginning? Oh, that was weird. I like, I like went all the way back to the treehouse. Anyway, we're like matchy matchy because you had nails on one hand and I had the same nails on the other. Even if we couldn't have all of the nails. It was so cool and also weird. And also, why do I keep coming back up here? Apparently, I can't go to the winner's circle. I don't know why. But guys, thanks so much for watching today. Please slam the like button and subscribe, guys. I really want to make it to 100,000 subscribers. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Aren't you proud of me? Wow, Molly, you're really moving up in the world. Mom, what's for dinner? I'm starving. The lunch lady served hot dogs, but she put sauerkraut on them, so all I had was a bag of chips for lunch. Yeah, you could have had an apple too, but you didn't want it. That's because my apple had a worm crawling out of it. Molly, no it didn't. You don't know, you weren't there. Girls, stop arguing, please. We're having tacos for dinner. Tacos, I love tacos. Me too, can we have bean burritos? No, Molly, bean burritos make you fart. Everybody knows that. Just eat the taco. <laughs> Mom, can I watch some TV till dinner's ready? I suppose. Daisy, it is your turn to set the table. Okay, but Molly better do it tomorrow night. Don't worry, I'll make sure that you have to do it again. Molly! Girls, stop fighting, please. Hmm, where's my favorite TV program? Breaking news, breaking news. A hurricane is about to hit Brookhaven. Wait, what? We didn't see it coming because we're terrible at meteorology, but <laughs> good luck because there's no other meteorologists in all of Brookhaven. And this one's going to be a whopper of a storm. Molly, turn it up. I want to hear that. Your dad's out of town and, 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 and he's going to be trying to come back home. No one should leave their house. In two hours, the hurricane will start. Two hours? Mom, do we have the supplies we need? Oh my God, this is bad. Did you go to the grocery store today, Mom? Uh -huh. We're almost out of toilet paper. We're going to be stuck in the house during a hur hurricane with no toilet paper. Um, no, I didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store today. I was too busy at my work. Ah! We're all going to die. We don't have any toilet paper. Well, we have uh, half a roll. Does anybody not realize that Daisy uses almost a half a roll every time she goes in the bathroom? Well, I mean, I just... I don't need to hear about it, Daisy. I'm just saying, Mom, we need to get over to Walmart and buy all of our hurricane supplies. First of all, I need to call your dad and tell him not to attempt to come home. I've got a bucket in case any of the house leaks. Daisy, this is a brand new house. Look at the ceiling. It looks amazing. It's not going to leak. But we could use that if we don't have enough toilet paper. Ew, Molly. Gross. All right, let me call your father and then we'll head out to Walmart. We need to hurry if the hurricane's going to be here in two hours. Hey, honey, I was just about to call you. My flight got canceled. 
Apparently there's a giant hurricane that's about to hit Brookhaven. I know, I was just gonna tell you, don't get on the plane. None of the meteorologists saw it coming. Don't worry, honey. I'm gonna miss you, and I want you to stay safe, but I'll stay safe here. Dad, I miss you! Also, bring toilet paper! What? What'd you say? She wants you to bring home some souvenir toilet paper. <laughs> uh, my daughter's so weird sometimes. I'm not afraid. I got my stuffed hippo. Uh, I'm not afraid. Come on, baby Kira. We have to go to the store. I'm just going to pick you up on my shoulders, okay? Because I don't want you to get your pajamas wet. It's already starting to rain a little bit. Baby Kira, why are you always sitting on my head? She likes to ride piggyback that way. It's so weird. Come on, girls. Let's go get in the car and head out to Walmart. Whoa, Walmart is so crowded. That's because we're about to get a huge storm. Everybody needs to buy eggs and bread so they can eat tons of French toast. Ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. Anyway, let's split up and see what we can find. I'm definitely going to look for the toilet paper. Toilet paper is a necessity. Molly, we need to buy non-perishable canned goods. Ooh, this fruit looks good. I can make some smoothies with this. Molly, stay focused. Canned goods. Ooh, this Fanta orange soda comes in a can. Definitely going to need some of that. And ooh, is that the cherry kind? Ooh, it looks delicious. Uh, Matchmaker's Cool Mint. No. Ooh, chocolate. Definitely need that. Molly, seriously. Uh, sorry. I just thought of, I'm sort of stress eating, okay? Uh, look, Molly, they have, um, some different types of, uh, like chips and, oh, can you get some beans, Molly? Molly, mom had that on the list, Molly. Okay, I got the beans. How about some cereal? Yeah, she probably will want some of that. Okay, do we want crunchy nut? Uh, Rice Krispies, Corn Flakes, uh, Kit Kat cereal? Uh, that's not on the list, Molly. She said to get the Cheerios multi-grain. Family pack. Okay, got it. Wow, some of these shelves are cleared out already. It's because of the storm, Molly. Um, Daisy, the only kind of soup that's left is poop soup. Oh my gosh, what's that made out of? I think it's made out of seagull poo. Ew, gross! Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat that if I were you. I guess we'll just make lots of chili with those beans. Well, we better start looking for some of the dog food and also the toilet paper. Oh, Jiminy Cricket, I almost forgot about the toilet paper. All right, I got the dog food. Can you get another package of it, though? Because one for Grace and one for Cleo. And also, I'm going to need some milk and butter. And what else? Oh. Molly, those aren't non-perishable. No, but they're making me hungry looking at them, so I'm going to eat them all. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go check out. Molly, you forgot about the most important thing that you were stressing about? Ah, toilet paper! All right, let's go see if they have any. Oh, my God. The aisle with the toilet paper is empty! Molly, we could just go to CVS. Maybe they'll have some. They better. They really better. All right, let's put up all of our stuff onto the conveyor belt. Hi, how are you? Are you ready for the storm? That's why we're here, lady, getting ready for the storm. Um, did you get anything for the storm? It looks like you bought a lot of chips and stuff. Uh, yeah, I know, but, um, that's because we are gonna be really hungry and we need to have chips and juice and soda. And, but we got some of the stuff my mom asked for, like, like... Like the, the cereal and stuff. Okay, well, as long as you got what was on your mom's list, be safe in the storm out there. Thank you. We hope we are. <sighs> if we ever get home. Hey, you're out of toilet paper, by the way. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been coming in and buying bread, milk, eggs, and toilet paper. Come on, Molly. Let's go to CVS and see if they have toilet paper there. Molly, we have to hurry. The hurricane's going to be here in 30 minutes. Okay, well, let's just go into the pharmacy and see if we can find some toilet paper. Paper. Um, soap, uh, uh, oh my god, they're sold out of toilet paper! Uh, it's okay, Daisy. I, I, I figured this out. What, Molly, what is it? Diapers. Are you serious right now, Molly? Well, I mean, it works for baby Kira, and we really don't have a choice because we don't have any toilet paper, so we've all got to wear diapers through the entire storm. Oh, this is terrible! Okay, we'll buy every box that they have. Well, they only have two boxes, so, um, yeah. You're gonna have to hold it a lot. I can't believe it. We're so unprepared. Mom's gonna be very upset we didn't find toilet paper. Well, we found an alternative. That's all we can say. Molly? Oh, I'm so glad you made it back home. Yeah, um, 
Did you get the toilet paper? Huh? 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 Um, no, but we got one better. <laughs> Who needs toilet paper when you got this? What are you wearing? I'd say diaper. Uh, yeah, I told her this wasn't going to go over very well. Molly, we can't all wear diapers. Well, what do you want me to do? All of the toilet paper was sold out. Okay, well, diapers it is then. Oh. Wow, everybody wear diapers like babies. Ah, <laughs> oh, very funny, baby Kira. Well, let's just hope this storm passes quickly and we're all safe. <laughs> Ow, mommy's already using a diaper. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. <sighs> Wait. They're they're about to say something on the news. Breaking news, breaking news. Our meteorologists were wrong again. That hurricane is going to miss us. Just some light rain and then some sunshine this evening. Sunshine? It's 1030 at night. I mean, tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'm not a very good news reporter. Our meteorologists and our news reporters are terrible here at Channel 16. Um, whoopsie. So anyway, don't worry about that hurricane. Ugh, too late because I already just used my diaper. Ew, Molly. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Acker. Your daughter, Molly, is so adorable. Aww. Thanks, Nurse Betty. But I have a question. Um, I was just wondering, uh, when is this baby fat gonna go away? I thought once I had the baby, I wouldn't be fat anymore. But look at my stomach. My shirt doesn't even fit. Oh, honey, I think you look beautiful. Aww. I mean, I like the muffins that spill out of the can. That's the best. <laughs> He's not helping, is he? No, not at all! That wasn't a compliment! Sorry, I'm just saying, like, extra muffins are always super delicious. I mean, you know when you, like, put them in the baking tin and then they explode out and you get an extra big muffin? That's kind of like your tummy underneath your shirt right now. Oh my gosh, Dan! <gasps> okay. I think you two are going to need a minute. But before that, I just want to say, your baby is super cute, but you have to make sure you know exactly how to take care of her. So you guys know what to do, right? Because tonight's going to be your first night home alone with the baby. Yeah, we'll be fine, right, honey? Yeah, if I don't look like an extra fat muffin. Oh, but you're my cute little muffin, honey. Ah, ah, ha, ha. It's normal after a baby is born to feel a bit emotion. Oh, Mrs. Acker, everything's going to be fine. Now, let me see baby Molly. I want to show you some things before you go home. If she cries, you can always try going shh, 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 shh. If that doesn't work, sometimes they like when you just give them a little pat, pat, pat like this. And if that still doesn't work, you can try driving him around in the car and listening to some Mozart mm. or gentle classical music. I was thinking more that I could listen to some, like, heavy metal. Yeah, do you think she'd like that? Of course not, Dan. It would be way too harsh for the baby's ears. Well, whatever you do, just make sure the music isn't too loud. Now, when you swaddle her and put her in the crib, you definitely want to make sure that um, the blanket is not like over her face or anything like that. And, um, you know, you just want to make sure that she's wrapped up tight. I like to call her a baby burrito. Any questions, Mrs. Acker? No, no questions. I... I'm just a little nervous, but... Don't worry, honey. I'm taking notes. Everything will be fine. All right. Well, let's head out to your car and make sure you know how to put the baby in the car seat. I'll be out there in a minute. I just have to check on a couple of other patients. One minute, 37 seconds later. Dan, I can't believe you brought the police work car to pick us up. Well, uh, my car's in the shop, but look it. <laughs> I can flash the sirens. It'll be a big deal. We can be like, honk, honk, we have a baby. Uh, if you say so, Dan. Honey, I know you're still mad at me about calling you a chubby muffin, but I love you and don't get mad at me, okay? I'm just a little stressed. We're bringing our first baby home. It's okay, Dan. Aw, we're holding hands. I know. I love you so much. Many, many minutes later. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Acker, did you forget something? No, I remembered my overnight bag. I think we're okay. How about your new baby daughter? Oh my god, we forgot the baby! Oh, we're gonna be terrible parents! Don't worry, this happens more than you think. 
Now, come on, let's see about putting her in the car seat the proper way. Welcome home, baby Molly. We're so excited to be your parents. Yeah, sweet little girl, you're so adorable. All right, come on, this is your new house. Welcome home. There's a nice fire going, so you're nice and cozy. Ugh, I'm still so hungry. Honey, it's okay. It's okay if you're my chubby little muffin. Ah, stop calling me a chubby muffin. Oh, no, she's crying. What do we do? What do we do? Wait a minute. What did Nurse Betty say? Oh, we could say like this. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sitting in the tie chair. That's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Dan, that was pretty funny. You sat in the high chair. <laughs> oh, he said we could. She said we could pat her just slightly like this. Um, Dan, I think she might want to get down. Okay, baby. Do you, do you want to crawl around on the floor? Here you go. Maybe she wants a bottle. Let's try that. Here you go. Click, 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 click. She stopped crying. I think we did the right thing. Oh, thank goodness. Having this baby um, on the outside of the world instead of in my tummy is much harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm so happy right now. Don't break the high chair, Dan. You're not supposed to dance on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that is for baby Molly. Oh, sweet baby. What do you think she wants to do now? Probably just explore around the house, Dan, and see what there is to see. She's never been in her new home before. Uh, she's climbing the stairs. Is that bad? Yes, Dan. She's not supposed to climb the stairs. She's a baby. Uh-oh. No, the vacuum's not for you. I mean, someday you'll have chores, but not yet. I hope she loves doing chores. I doubt it. No kid ever likes doing chores. Oh, she found her bed and she's laying in it. That's such a good sign, right, Laura? Yeah, she can't go to bed yet. We have to give her her first bath. Oh, yeah, baby, you need to have a bath. Come on, come with Daddy. Okay, baby Molly, come on. Oh, wait. Honey, we didn't buy a baby bathtub. What are we going to do? Um, well, we could give her a shower. She's a baby. We can't give her a shower. Um, well, I guess we could bathe her in the sink. Isn't that what our parents did with us? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, baby Molly, come here, honey. We're going to give you a bath in the sink. Your very first bath. I feel like she's getting caught in my stomach fat. Oh, honey, don't be ridiculous. Oh, whoa, yeah, she kind of is. <laughs> Um, yeah, this baby weight thing is ridiculous. I did buy it. Oh, sweet girl. Oh, sweet girl. Oh, sweet girl. Oh, is the water too cold? Here you go. I'll make it warmer. And here, here's your pacifier. She seems pretty happy about her first bath. She totally does. She's adorable, honey. <laughs> I'm so glad we decided to have kids. Me too. Oh, look at the baby in her little crib. Honey, are you filming this? Of course I am. This is a magical moment. Her first night sleeping in her very own bed. I don't know what they were talking about when they said kids keep you up all night. Look at ours. She's a perfect little angel. Okay, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. Get her. Okay. Oh, man, I'm super tired. Tell me about it. I just had a baby. What's wrong, baby Molly? Shh, shh, shh. There, there. Here's your pacifier. All right, go back to sleep, sweetheart. One minute, 37 seconds later. Don't worry, honey. I'll get her the 
this time. Thanks, Dan. Uh, maybe they were right about this baby waking up. No, no, no. It's only been twice. She just needs a little help going to sleep. La, la, la. Daddy's here. Go to sleep, little baby. See, she's going to be totally fine. Oh my god, this baby has kept us up all night. I'm pretty sure our baby is a demon! What? No, she. this is just how normal babies are. I know you were an only child, well, except for your sister, but, you know, she didn't come later, <laughs> later, and then... What are you talking about? My sister is my twin. Yeah, but she came later. You were born first, so you're sort of an only child. <laughs> Dan, I think you have absolutely lack of sleep going on right now, because that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> sorry, I get really goofy when I'm tired. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that our baby is a demon? What? No, no, honey, you're just sleep deprived. She's not actually a demon. Here, uh, I'll show you. She looks like a demon! I see a demon face! <laughs> see, it's our sweet little baby, Molly. Yeah, except for when she wakes us up all night long, she's sort of a demon. I think you can wait to die if you love mama. What a demon say your name? Did she seriously just say my name? Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Oh, sweet little baby. I don't care how many times you wake me up in the night. Oh, that's so, so sweet. So you want to have more kids after this one? No. Absolutely not. I was thinking we could have three or four. No, just one. <laughs> You'll change your mind. Trust me. I think you're about it. I think you're about it, Mama. Molly, give me that TV remote. I don't think so. I'm watching Brooke High. Molly, give me it. It's my turn with the TV. <laughs> you can't catch me. Nee, 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 nee. Oh, yeah, Molly? Watch me. Ah! Are you, are you spraying me with a fire extinguisher? Daisy, that's so rude. Give it to me, Molly. I want to watch the news. Seriously? What are you, 100? Why would you want to watch the news? Boring. Molly, turn the channel to the news station. Oh, my goodness. My sister's such a brat. I'll show you right now, Lydia. I can't believe I'm on the news. This is super cool. Whoa. Uh, and now you never have to water again? That's right. I just give my plants a little pat, though, because I want them to know I still care about them. Oh, that's sweet. Wow, I don't have feelings so good. Oh, I feel very strange. You're probably just nervous from being on TV. That happens to a lot of people. I want to eat your brains. What? What did you just say? I want to eat your brains. Ah! Oh my god, the owner of, of Dr. Green Thumb has turned into a zombie. You heard it first, folks, here on News Channel 10. This could be the story of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, the new potion that Dr. Dr. Green Thumb's business created turns everything green into a zombie infection. That's right, Brookhaven residents. Don't touch the color green! Unless, of course, you want to be a brain-eating zombie. Molly, did you hear that? That, 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 that sounds insane! What? <laughs> I think they must be joking. Is it April Fool's Day? No, Molly, it's not April Fool's Day. It's July! April Fool's Day happens in April! Okay, well, that can't be true. Every green plant in Brookhaven, if you touch it, will turn you into a zombie? That would be like the end of the universe! Yeah, well, I think it must be true because I saw it on the news. Nah, the news is full of fluff. And, um, I think it's a lot of... Oh, Molly, did you just fart? Yeah, it's a lot of doo-doo, that's what it is. Oh, boy, Molly, please tell me you won't touch the color green. Please! Hey, Molly, what's up? Oh, you playing some soccer? Hey, Brookie, nice to see you. Did you see the news? Uh, no, I never watch the news. It bores me so much. Me too. So, you didn't hear anything weird going on in Brookhaven? No, not at all. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just go put my bike over there in the grass. Um, I don't think I should touch the... 
Uh, don't, don't touch the... Oh, don't be silly, Molly. That was just a prank. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good. Uh... Brookie? Oh, my God. It wasn't a prank. Molly, how could you? The news was telling the truth. Uh, don't look now, but our BFF is having some major problems. <laughs> brains. Give me all your brains. Yeah, I should say so. Poor Brookie. I never thought that it would come to this. Well, as long as we don't touch the color green, everything should be fine, right, Daisy? Yeah, exactly. We can avoid the color green, like forever, right? Yeah, totally. So sad. I lost my best friend to the zombie apocalypse. Molly, your shirt! It has green on it! A little green alien! Huh, what? Ah! Oh my god. And so is it everything green? Because I've been touching this the whole time and I'm not a zombie. Oh, maybe it's just the plants and the trees and everything living. So your shirt is okay. Oh, hopefully the whole town isn't a zombie yet. I'm going to go out and take a look. Okay, the door won't open now. Uh -huh. Unlock! Uh, I'm going to go to Starbucks and get a cupcake. What a stressful day! Ooh, look at that green apple. That looks delicious. No! Don't touch that! Didn't you watch the news? What? No, I'm starving. Ah! You're touching the color green! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a zombie. What are you talking about? I think this apple tastes fine. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts now. I guess I wasn't that hungry. Here you go, you can have it. Oh! Ah! Why did I catch that? Oh my god, no! 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 Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. It's happening, isn't it? I'm gonna turn into a zombie! Brains! Brains! Why can't I get up off the ground? I'm a lazy zombie. Ah, uh, so much like my human self. Molly? No! Molly, not you too! My sister! No! Molly, you stay back. Stay back for me, Molly! Uh, I wanna eat your brains, sister. I am so hungry. I better go to my science lab, try to reverse this horrible potion. Molly, please. Oh no. Brains, wanna eat your brains. Let me in. Don't you want a nice delicious cupcake, Molly? You love cupcakes. Yes, brain cupcakes. Stop saying brains. Brains. Wow, you're even annoying as a zombie. Go figure. I've been working night and day for an entire week, but I think I know how to reverse the zombie apocalypse that's happening. All I have to do is mix up this potion, and I should be able to cure all of Brookhaven by putting a few traps in the water source. I just hope I'm not too late for my sister Molly. As annoying as she is, she's more annoying wanting to eat my brains. City of Brookhaven, don't worry. Scientist Daisy will cure you all. I'm on my way. Uh-oh. Did I just touch the color green? Oh, no. I've doomed all of Brookhaven. It's happening. It's happening. All of Brookhaven is now zombified. Brains. I want Molly, we're shrunk down. This means we have to escape this dollhouse. I just know it. Come on, Molly. Guys, if you didn't know this already, my sister Daisy broke her wrist, and that's why she's wearing a cast right now. Yeah, but I'm still better at Abby's than Molly. <laughs> well, look, we're shrunk down to like little doll size, so now we can escape through here. Whoa, did you see that, Molly? Yeah. Whoa, the floor's missing. Can we go in one of these doors? Wouldn't that be amazing? I want to see what's in these doors. Let me in here. Okay, there's nothing in there. Or they're locked, so you can't go in. Probably locked. 
There's secrets in this dollhouse. This way to Darling's dollhouse. Okay, there's someone named Darling, I guess. Whoa, Molly, look at this place. It's like she's having a giant tea party. This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. It's kind of cray cray. Couldn't agree more, Molly, couldn't agree more. Oh, here's a teapot. And um, there's a, a giant spoon to stir the tea. What if you want to have um, cupcakes with your tea? I don't know, Molly, I don't think there is cupcakes. Well, this is the worst tea party I've ever been to. <laughs> Here's all the stuffed animals she invited to her tea party. Okay, darling, your room is adorable. Guys, this obby is pretty different. It's kind of cool. Like I said, it's like you've been dropped down the rabbit hole into Alice in Wonderland or something. I like it, though. I think it's pretty cool, too, Molly. It's very different. There's lava in here, though. No, Molly, that's bubbling tea. Oh, no. Look at this clown. Oh, he's so sad. Because he got dropped into the tea. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I just touched it. OMG. Oh no, he's a jack in the box. Okay, I see now. I thought he was just like a regular clown, but no, he's a jack in the box. And there's one over here too, Daisy. They are jack in the boxes. Um, I'm not sure if they look sad or angry. Maybe a little bit of both. They don't like being in the hot lava. All right, it says, oh my gosh, it's like candy land in here. chocolate in the center. Mm. This is the most delicious hobby ever. Molly, those might be booby trapped. They might be, but I kind of don't care. Darling's dollhouse one mile ahead. Hurry, Molly, don't get hit by those giant lollipops or whatever. Ooh, look at those. Mm, those chocolates look delicious. Molly, stop eating everything and run. <laughs> Why is this an hobby you'd ever want to escape? Something tells me Darling is not as darling as she seems. Maybe, but ooh, bonbon's my favorite. Hit the checkpoint, Molly, and let's make it through this next part. Come on, Daisy, let's go. All right, neither one of us died. That was amazing. Yeah, especially for you, noob. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my gosh, I just died. I spoke too soon. Oopsie. It's all right. I can make it this time. I'm sure of it. You just have to like time it exactly right. Wait a minute. I Did I go the wrong way? Follow the big arrows, Molly. And also look for your sister. Okay, running. Wow, here it is, Darling's Dollhouse. Oh my gosh, it really is Darling. Welcome to Darling's Dollhouse. So it's like a dollhouse within a dollhouse. She lives down here in Wonderland. And she's well... Creepy! Holy guacamole! Hello, welcome to my dollhouse. Does she have button eyes, Molly? Um, yes. But she's also got candy in her hair, so I feel like we could be friends. Guys, if you want to give um, Darling a gift, you could give her tacos or you could vomit on her. You know, those are the two options in this game. Wow, Molly. Darling might be evil. I haven't decided yet. Yeah. Um, okay, it says Darling's um, hide and seek game. Find three buttons to open the door. Find three buttons to open the door. Hide and seek. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Oh, my gosh. What's this mean? <laughs> I'm finding you, and now I'm chasing you. And if I catch you, you'll probably need to die. Okay, yeah, she's definitely evil. Remember when we said, I wonder if she's evil? Yep, she's evil. OMG, I knew she'd be evil. All right, I'm not sure I know where the other buttons are. Oh, wait, I think there's a button down there. All right, there's another button. Oh my gosh, she comes down out of the ceiling every single time? Where are the other buttons? I think that might be one up here, Molly. Um, is she right? Is she right? No, I already did that one, Daisy. Oh my gosh. I don't know where the third button is, guys. I'm just running around in circles. Well, there's that button. Maybe if I go inside this room? I don't know. What's in here? <gasps> Ooh, it's her, it's her bedroom. It's just every single picture is of her. She might be a little bit conceited, just a little. Do any of these doors open? No, they're all locked. Guys, I don't know where the third button is. I really don't. Molly! Follow me, I'll help you. There you are, Daisy. I was wondering when you were gonna come rescue me and be good at the game when I'm not. Oh, that's just my job, Molly. No, 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 I pushed that button, Daisy. Um, yeah, she's stuck there being crazy. Okay, let me show you the other buttons then. If you already pushed that one. Okay, and I pushed that one, Daisy. Where's the other button? Daisy, where'd you go? Daisy disappeared. She's like, I'm right here, Molly Jeeples. Okay, yeah, I also pushed this one. But then you pushed out three of them, you crazy loony tunes. <laughs> but wait, no, one of them's not, it just says red. I can't get through. 
I, all of the buttons are green. All right, let me try pushing them again, because that was weird. This is definitely a glitch in the game for me, guys. All right, I pushed this one. I pushed that one, okay. Oh wait, it opened, but it was already green. Isn't that weird? Come on, Molly, who cares? Let's just escape, darling. She's, well, she's evil. She's not very darling at all. I know, darling. <laughs> Stop saying darling, Molly. O-M-G, it's like a giant Ferris wheel. Yes, please. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I think you've got to jump on it and then keep jumping or something, Daisy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. This is hard. This is very hard. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? Jump it just a little time, Molly. Oh, boy. Well, this is going to take me forever. Everybody knows I don't know when to jump at the right time. Does anybody else think these look like a corn dog? Or is it just me? It's just you, Molly. Maybe now? 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 Ooh. Now? No. <laughs> Can I buy the tacos now, Daisy? No, Molly, you can't buy the tacos. Why? I need tacos. Tacos are delicious. Tacos make me feel better. I need the tacos! Wait, I think I just made it to the next part. Oh, yeah, I did. This part is very difficult, guys. Very. But, oh, man! I almost made it, but uh, not really. You almost made it, but not really, huh, Molly? Yeah, almost, but not really. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I always do, right, guys? I think. I hope. Ooh. Oh, man. Ah! I'm gonna be here forever, forever and ever. I don't understand this part. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I almost made it. It's like, you have to time it exactly perfectly or, you know, you die, pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna walk out to the very edge and then hopefully, Ooh. Ah! no. All right, how much does it cost to skip a stage? Just asking. Would you like to skip to the next checkpoint? Yes, how much do you want? 25 Robux? Worth it! Goodbye, people. Wow, you finally decided to show up, huh? And you had to cheat. Yeah, but I got a skipper award. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I like the skipper awards. Oh my gosh, this axe is trying to kill me right now? This seems like a little bit crazy town. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, they can't get me right here. Okay, good. Holy moly. Holy moly! Holy macaroni! <laughs> Holy cheesy macaroni! Ay, ay, ay. My sister's crazy. Yeah, this game is making me crazy. Whoa, so much spinning around. And don't look now, but there's another half moon that's an axe. This darling is, well, she's nuts. Just gonna say it. All right, Daisy, uh, wait. Oh my gosh, she didn't wait. Daisy, you're gonna die. I didn't die, Molly, see? Look at all the balloons, it's like a party. A uh, kill us party, I guess. I love the next um levels that you go through. I think they are so awesome. Oh, wait a minute. I got an, a, a friend award. Why did I get a friend award? I don't know. I'm Darling's friend, I guess. Maybe it's because we're playing together. We're not friends. We're sisters. We also can be friends, Molly. No, not a chance. All right, you got to jump on the couch like this. Trust me, I do this all the time at home. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to either, Molly. Well, I know, but I'm just good at jumping on the couch, so I know what I'm doing here. Oh, no! This is crazy! I love this hobby. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, this part's making me dizzy. You guys, if you play this game, it might make you dizzy. Just saying. Wee! All right, now I'm going to jump on the bed. Maybe. Okay, now, I, yes, now I have to go. Right now. Right now. Oh, my gosh, people. Ah! No, no, no! Yes! Oh, I almost made it, and uh, then I almost died, and then I made it, and oh god, checkpoint. Good job, Molly. You sound really stressed out. Let me off your crazy ride, teddy Ooh. bear. Oh, man, I died. All right, I'm back out of the crazy teddy bear again. Oh, yeah, I made it to the next checkpoint. Thank goodness, this is difficult. Like I said, guys, this part's going to make you dizzy. This game developer was definitely inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And if you guys didn't know, I love Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, destroy darling. I think we're at the end of this epic battle, guys. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun! I'm sorry about this, darling, but I have to shoot these pieces of gumballs at you. It's okay, though, she's just sort of standing there. No, she's trying to kill you with a sweet shwee! Oh, really? Like, that's just kind of sad. Oh, man, she tried to take me down with a donut. Daisy, did you die? Well, I don't want to tell you if I lived or died because I make you feel bad. Ooh, Daisy, I might actually beat you this time. Oh, my gosh. But everybody knows that you can escape chocolates and donuts and candy. It's just how you are. Well, she does have a point there, guys. 
Oh, I'm not shooting at her right now. I'm not shooting at anything. Get, get away from me, gumdrops. Guys, I don't even like gumdrops. That's why she's trying to kill you with him. Yeah, she's really like that. Oh my gosh! She got me, guys! Or did I get her? I'm not really sure. Uh-oh. Goodbye. <laughs> oh man, she's a psycho. What? Oh no. I got her with the chandelier. Now I'm doing the chicken dance. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. Poor darling Dolly. Well, she was evil. It had to happen. Come on, Molly. Let's try to get out of here. Well, we can try, but I can't promise I know my way out of here. This place is crazy. Wait, I think I see an exit. Oh my gosh. We made it. Yes. Oh, wait. Back to the start. Whoa. No, thank you. That doll was crazy down. Yeah, she was, Molly. Totally. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching my channel today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more fun games like this one where Daisy and I play together. That's a wait, guys. And um, thank you for all the, the well wishes in the comments because they broke my wrist. That was so nice of you. Yeah, guys, that really was nice of you. <coughs> I'm coughing. Are you sick, Molly? We can't both be sick at the same time, and I'm currently the one with the broken wrist. No, 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 no. <coughs> I just, I swallowed a bug. Ew, gross. <laughs> Happens sometimes when you talk too much. Uh, I'll go eat a donut and wash it down. It'll be fine. Ew, gross, Molly. Make me want to puke. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>
Nobody. Nobody's a unicorn. Don't don't look at her horn. Um, I turned into a unicorn. Oh! <laughs> well, I just think maybe you should be my unicorn. What? No! Come here, Molly. I want to show you something. Come on in your room. What, Polly? I feel like I feel like this isn't a good idea. No, follow me if you want all these delicious muffins. Okay. Um, but um, P Polly, where are you going? Polly! Polly, open the door! Oh my God, Polly tricked me! Polly! Hey, where'd you do with Molly? Um, I am Molly. Polly left. Oh, okay, Molly. Well, come on, let's go give you all of your wishes. Ha ha ha! Actually, I have another idea. Alakazam! Alakazee! Now, little unicorn, you belong to me. What? What's what, what, happening? Molly, why are you doing this to me? Molly! <laughs> now you belong to me, little unicorn. And you have to do all of my wishes. The first thing I'm going to wish for is that Molly's stuck in her room forever! Ha 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 ha! Wait a minute, you're not Molly? No, I don't I don't want to make her stuck in her room forever! You have to do it. Go over to the door and lock it forever. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, Molly. Brookie, let me out of here! I can't, Molly. She she put a spell on me, your evil opposite twin, and, and now I have to lock you in your room forever! What? No! I need to have cupcakes. I mean, these ones won't last me forever. How are you going to lock me in here forever? I'm, I'm going to be hungry. I'm sorry, Molly. It's not my fault. Oh, good morning, Marley. Whoa, Brookie Cookie, what happened to you? Don't talk to my unicorn. Wait, what, Molly? Brookie Cookie turned into a unicorn and you didn't tell me? Well, I'm telling you now, bratty sister. Molly, what has got into you? You shouldn't be talking to me that way. Oh, Daisy, I, I, I... Hey, unicorn, no talking. Molly, that is rude to talk to your friend Boogie Cookie like that. Why are you doing that? Because now she belongs to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I must have missed something here. What is going on? Um, well, you see, um... Hey, quiet, unicorn. Okay. Molly, what's good going on? <laughs> well, you see, Brookie Cookie got turned into a unicorn. Uh, yeah, I gathered that. And now she grants all of my wishes. Brookie, Brookie, do you want to um grant all of her wishes? Um, not really. Hey, unicorn! You will say, yes, I want to grant all Molly's wishes from now on. Um, I want to... Wait a minute! No! I didn't mean Molly. What's going on here? Molly, is that you or did an alien abduct you? She, she's not. Hey, quiet. I, from now on, will grant all of my master's wishes. I, from now on, will grant all of my master's wishes. Oh, boy, this isn't good. Molly, if you aren't nicer to her, I'm telling on you. Okay, I see that my sister Daisy is going to be a problem here. So, I'm going to have to get rid of her. What do you mean, Molly? Get rid of me. Are you serious right now? I've really had it with you, Molly. I'm so sorry about this, Pookie. Don't worry, I'll make it better. Oh, Daisy, I I think you've done the wrong thing here. What? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, unicorn. Put her in the underwater prison. What? What? Molly? What's happening? <laughs> You're stuck in the underwater prison forever! Molly, how could you? <laughs> Who's Molly? What? What are you talking about? I'm her evil opposite twin, Polly! And now you're stuck in this underwater prison forever! <laughs> Polly! No! crying right now because that was the best netflix series ever <laughs> uh okay but why 
are you crying if it was the best series ever? Because now it's over. And I don't want it to be over. I want more episodes. And, 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 uh, how will I know if Wednesday is okay? Well, we have to wait till next season. But don't worry, Molly. There's this amazing new episode of Brook High. Who cares about Brook High? I want to watch Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Well, maybe we could talk about the series, and that will make it so you don't miss it so much. Yeah. Okay. I loved Enid. I think her and Wednesday are more alike than anyone realizes. What? What are you talking about? They're like total opposites. Molly, they remind me of me and you a lot, actually. Well, we're nothing alike. Well, we're sort of alike in some ways. No, we're not. We're nothing alike. Um, but I am kind of like a Wednesday. Well, I feel like I'm like Enid. Well, I'm just saying that we're nothing alike. I think we're a lot more alike than you think we are. And I dare you to do a morning routine tomorrow with me where I'm Enid and you're Wednesday. And I'll show you how much alike we are. And I'll show you how much we're not alike. Well, Molly, are you going to take the deal? Yeah, absolutely. Wednesday this morning, remember? Oh, what? I thought you were just kidding about that. <sighs> Molly, come on! You took the deal! Do you want to lose? Huh? What? No? Huh? Just give me five minutes, okay? You won't be Wednesday in five minutes. You could never. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Well, oh, I have five minutes to be Wednesday, so that means four of those I can go back to sleep. Okay, I've got to be Wednesday. Got to wake up. Got to be Wednesday. Ha ha ha! Look at me. I am so ready for this Wednesday morning routine. Oh, Wednesday! It's time to get ready for school. Enid, where are you? Your chipper self is annoying me right now. You're too happy in the morning. I'm just down making a delicious breakfast with rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles? Seriously? Ugh, her cheer is starting to get on my nerves. I may have to kill you today. Whoa, why are you so short? Why are you so tall? Whoa, what's that thing on your head? Uh, duh, this is my little friend named Thing. He's a severed hand. Be careful, let her drip blood on you. Um, oh, um... Gee, that's disgusting! I can't believe you're my actual roommate. I just drank a ton of coffee, so I hope my werewolf doesn't come out. What do you have for breakfast? The souls of my enemies. <laughs> you're being serious right now? Yeah, totally. And right now, you're my enemy. Okay, well, let's get going to school. Um... Whatever you have for breakfast, uh, I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I'm just going to go in and collect my books and stuff. I don't need books. I remember everything. I have like a photographic memory of everything that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I've got to brush my teeth because, you know, I like to have the most shiniest and sharpest teeth. Sharp teeth? What, what are you talking about, Wednesday? Oh, I just, I just sharpen my teeth up with some... Uh, with some rock toothpaste in the morning? What? What are you talking about? No, seriously, I do. Because if I ever have to bite somebody in a fight, I want to make sure that my teeth are like a vampires. You know, vampires go to a school, right? Uh-huh. Molly, are you still pretending you're Wednesday? Who's Molly? What do you think, I have split personalities or something? <laughs> la, 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 la. Wednesday? In case we run into that monster in the woods on the way to school. I plan on taking the school bus. The school bus? Are you serious? I would rather die! Oh, okay. Well, we don't have to take the school bus if you don't want to, but everybody's so friendly. You'd really like the other werewolves. I barely like the one in front of me. Wow. My roommate is kind of rude. 
Yeah, don't you think she's nothing like you at all? No, I'm sure we have some similarities, and I'm going to find them. I'll be down in a few minutes. I have to do my month, my morning journal. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, I definitely need a latte. Today, I found out I have the most annoying roommate ever. Her name is Eden. Enid. Enith? Edith? I don't know. I think it's Enid. But she is definitely a demon. She's so friendly and nice and, oh, I swear she poops rainbows. Now I have to go to school, so I'll talk to you later, journal. I know, thing. I don't like going to public education either. It's just a prison for our brains. A prison! Uh, Molly, why do you have a giant umbrella? It's not even raining. Because I don't want the evil sun to touch my skin. It might burn me! Molly, getting some sunshine every day is good for you. Look how cheery it makes me! Yep, definitely need the umbrella then. Wednesday, this is not the way to school! I told you, I have to hunt down that monster. I don't recall you saying that. Well, I have to, Enid. The safety of Nevermore and all of our town is, is, is at risk. This is not our responsibility. We should tell the teachers at Nevermore. Blah, 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 blah. What are you, chicken? Absolutely. I haven't even turned into my werewolf form yet. Well, no time like the present. Come on, I think I found its cave. I'm not a very good swimmer. You'll be fine. Come on. What's that? <laughs> um, uh, Wednesday, I, I agree with you, Molly. You win. They're nothing alike. I'm going to school. Enid, don't you dare run away. I'm, I'm going to need you. Enid! What a chicken. Okay, Hyde. It's you and me. Take that, Hyde. And that. And that. Oh! Whoa, I actually took down the hide. That was amazing. All right, I better get to that prison they call school. Wednesday, are you okay? Yes, Enid, I'm fine. And uh, is that blood on your wax? What was that? Um, well, it's blood of the hide. Oh my gosh, according to this, they've marked us as tiny. Oh! Don't worry, we're just a little late for school. The principal won't care, right? She cares, Molly. She always cares. Wednesday Adams, Wednesday Adams, and her roommate Enid, please report to my office immediately. Oh, great. Now I'm going to get in trouble. Well, at least now we have that in common. Ugh! Wednesday, you're infuriating. <laughs> you said you wanted something in common with me, and now you have it. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up to school. Why are you late? Uh, Bally, I wouldn't tell her the truth. Well, I was busy killing the hide, see? With my axe here. <gasps> what are you talking about? That is very dangerous. You both shall have detention for a month. What? I can't have detention for a month. I have to go to werewolf camp every night. My mom said so. Well, you'll have to be suspended from werewolf camp for the month. Ugh! Wednesday! You're so frustrating! So, you still want to be my roommate? I can't believe this. And guess what? We didn't even do this morning routine right. What? What are you talking about? Thing? Snap your fingers! If we're going to do a morning routine, then we have to do it in our room at Nevermore. Ah, look at my beautiful side of the room. And then look at Enid's. Ugh, she's so annoying.